guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is an everyday makeup tutorial testing out new makeup. So I don't have a full face of new makeup. I think I only have about five or six products that are new makeup. But I'm going to do an everyday look using some of those new products and some of my favourites that I love to wear every day anyway. And it's going to be quite a natural look. I think everything apart from one item is drugstore. So let's just get started. Okay, so first of all I'm spraying my face using the Barry M Flawless Hydro Fix Primer Water. So then I'm going in with a new primer for me. This is the Max Factor Miracle Prep Pore Minimising and Mattifying Primer. Um, so it says lightweight formula, powder complex, triple oil absorbing. So I need, I need pore minimizing. I do need a bit of mattifying, but I also need a bit of hydration. So we'll see how this one goes. And I'm going to apply it with my Real Techniques stippling brush. Okay, so that feels really nice on the skin. Um, it feels mattifying, but it also doesn't feel too dry in. It feels quite nice. Um, so, so far so good with that one. I guess with a primer though, you can't really judge it until you've worn it all day with makeup. So, so far so good for that one. So now for foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation in the shade Fair Beige. I did a review on this on my channel and I absolutely loved it, but I used the shade 03 True Ivory. This is the shade Fair Beige and it is much lighter. It's much better for my skin. I prefer this shade. So it's not a new one. It's not like a first impression now, but it is kind of new because I've only been using this for a few weeks. And I much prefer this colour. My other shade is a shade for the summertime. And I'm going to apply this with my Sunday Ivy um, Microfiber Booty Blender. I really like that foundation. It is such a good colour match. It is so hydrating and it just looks flawless on the skin. I really like it. So now for concealer, I have a new concealer and this is the Revlon Colour Stay Concealer in the shade Fair. I'm not sure if it's going to be maybe too dark, so I might have to mix it with a Colourpop lighter one. Yes, it is too dark, so I'm just going to dot this over my eye area. And then use my Colourpop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 8. Just to lighten it a little bit. I'm then going to blend that in with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. So I understand that's not a true reflection of the concealer because I've mixed it with a Colourpop one, but I'm always mixing concealers anyway. I never, I really just have one concealer on its own anyway, I usually mix. So I actually quite like that Revlon one because it is mixable with another concealer and it doesn't look dry and it doesn't look um, cakey or creasy or anything so it looks quite good. So I like that concealer so far. Now for powder I'm going to use the Colourpop No Filter Setting Powder and I'm going to use my e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush to set around my eye area first. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face using the same powder on my You Spicy 31 brush. So I really like um, the base so far. Love the primer, love the foundation, love the concealer. Now I'm going to move on to my eye area. So I have some Colourpop eyeshadows but I'm only doing these are new ones I haven't used them so I'm literally only doing um one color just through the crease because I am not I'm just doing an everyday look and I wouldn't wear full-on eyeshadow for an everyday work kind of look so I'm gonna go just in with the shade running late on my Morphe R37 and just pop that through the crease it's just like a peachy really subtle shade and I wouldn't have too much for an everyday look anyway I'm literally just doing a very light 
and I know that I love these Colourpop pressed eyeshadows anyway so I don't really need to test them out because I know that they are wonderful but oh I really like this colour it's nice and natural I'm then going to go in with another Colourpop shade that is new that I haven't used yet and it's the shade Ringer this one here and I'm gently just going to pop that on the lid not much just a little bit because I don't want to be too intense then I'm going to use my NYX Control Freak Clear Eyebrow Gel. I just realised I didn't even zoom you in to do my eyes and I always do that. I don't know what is going on with me today. I don't know if there's much point zooming you in now, but I have. But yes, you can see the eyes. So now I'm going to use my NYX Slide On Glide On Eyeliner Pencil in Brown Perfection. And then I'm going to curl my lashes using my Tweezerman eyelash curlers and then I'm going in with my Maybelline Lash Sensational in black. I'm then using a new bronzer. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer but it's in the shade Light. And I only have the shade bronzer, which was slightly too dark for me, but I'm going to try this light one. And I've got a an It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe brush for flawless powder, and I'm using that to apply it. So let's have a look. Oh, that is much better. Yeah, I much prefer that one. It's nice and subtle. It doesn't stand up too much, which is exactly what I want for bronzer. And then for blush I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Exposed on my IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Flawless Blush Brush. And then finally for lip gloss, I've got a new lip gloss. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. I have lots of NYX Butter Glosses but I don't have this shade. So let's try it out. That is really nice. It's like a nudie pink gloss. Okay, so that completes this video. This was my everyday makeup tutorial, testing out and using new makeup. Um, I loved all the products that I tried. There wasn't any that I disliked, so that's really good. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already so you can see all my other videos. And thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!